Hey, Lair. What's up, Terry Bear? I gotta ask you a question, bro. What's up, man? What's up? Which marriage like? I gotta know. Well, T-Bone. It's kind of like, it's a little something like. Gonna find my baby, gonna hold her tight, gonna grab some afternoon delight. Sky rockets in flight, boo! Afternoon delight, whoop! Afternoon delight. I respect Larry a great deal because he's one of those people who is constantly trying to learn new things. Uh, whether he's trying to figure out the chemical composition of every material he ever comes in contact with, um, or just trying to brew the perfect beer. Um, <laughs> He's always pushing himself to advance in every area of his life and strives to master everything he does. Alright, I'll try my best. She gave me directions. All drawn out. Yeah, give me a map. <laughs> it might sound like I'm raving about Larry, but if anyone deserves it, it's definitely him. But as we all know, behind every great man is a great woman. <laughs> or is it behind every great woman is a great man? Well, either way, Steph is great. Um, I've had the privilege of getting to know Steph over the last couple of years, and I can honestly say there's not a better match for Larry. I'll stay anywhere with you. And as I mentioned before, Larry has an enormous curiosity for science, and I don't think there's another person who can match his fascination like Steph, or who can tolerate his end endless discussion of molecules and enzymes and quaternary structures of protein, or whatever you crazy scientists talk about. <laughs> Stephanie Michelle Hoppus, I promise to love and care for you. I have promised to forever and always make you smile, feel loved, and to turn your dreams into reality. I will love you more than carbon wanting to make four bonds. No more and no less. I will try my best to break your strains, like a nucleophile to a cyclic bromonium ion. I promise to be hopelessly devoted to you and I promise to be your biggest supporter in our adventures because from this day forward and forevermore, what's yours is mine. I promise to always remember carbon ideally wants to make four bonds and hydrogen can never make double bonds. I mean, really, that doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> I'll stay anywhere with you. Uh, hi everyone, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Angela, um, the Matron of Honor's best older sister. <laughs> I probably revised this speech about a million times so that it would be perfect for today. I just cannot think of the right words to describe how much I love my little sister and how proud I am of her. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> I have come to the conclusion that there are no words that can even begin to sum it up. She is one of the most beautiful people I know, both inside and out. And there's nothing in this world that I want more than to see her happy. And I know that she found happiness with Larry. Now don't you let him win. Hey, we're just beginning. Hey, can't see the ending. I see the way that she looks at you and I hear how she talks about you. I know that you are meant for each other. And I wish you both a life filled with endless love and happiness. Don't you know we make our own fate? Hey, we're just beginning. Hey, can't see the ending. They're a great team, and you can tell that they bring out the best in each other. That's why I'm so proud to be a part of this wedding, and I look forward to watching them continue to grow and learn together. These two are destined to make the world a better place, and I'm honored to be able to call Larry and Steph my friends. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here together in the presence of God and in the company of these witnesses. To join together Lawrence, and Stephanie in holy matrimony. This is a covenant of companionship instituted and designed by God. By the power invested in me by the God Almighty in the state of Pennsylvania, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Lawrence, you may now salute your bride.